Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Laser cutters are a dangerous tool. Thankfully, almost every laser cutter comes with a pair of safety glasses to protect your eyes. But what do almost no laser cutters come with? Anything to protect your lungs from the harmful smoke and fumes that laser cutters produce. This is where the Laser Pecker Air Purifier comes in. Featuring a four layer filter with HEPA filters and activated carbon, Laser Pecker claims that it can filter out 99.97% of harmful volatile organic compounds and particles. And while it's designed to work with all of Laser Pecker's lasers, I also tested it on a number of other brands. So let's take a look at the Laser Pecker Air Purifier and see if it's worth adding to your laser engraver. Before we begin, this air purifier was sent to me for review by Laser Pecker. They aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this air purifier for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you're interested in anything you see in my videos, you can use those links to help support my channel. So let's get into it. The Laser Pecker Air Purifier is a compact machine with a convenient handle that makes it easy to move and carry around. On the front, we see the simple controls, just a plus and minus button with a light bar in the middle. Around the back, we see the plug for the included power brick and the on and off button. The back also has the connections for the intake hose and the exhaust hose. When turned on, the built-in fan will pull air from the input hose, pass it through the four-stage filter, and exhaust it out the bottom hose. The included hoses are accordion-style aluminum hoses with a black exterior. The hoses have connectors that lock into place on the air purifier, making for a solid connection. If we remove the of the air purifier, we can see the four-stage filter. This single unit has convenient straps to make removing it easy. The filter consists of a cotton pre-filter, and then a layer of H13 HEPA filter, a layer of activated carbon, and finally a second H13 HEPA filter layer. The cotton pre-filter catches the soot and tar in the air, which prolongs the life of the filters below it. The HEPA filters filter out 99.97% of dust, smoke, and ultrafine particles down to 0.3 microns. The activated carbon filter absorbs any VOCs and odors from the air. The life of the filter will depend on how you use it, but Laser Pecker recommends that you replace the filter after 600 hours, or 3 to 6 months depending on what materials you use. Replacement is extremely simple. Lift the old filter out, slide in the new filter, and replace the lid. Very easy. The built-in fan has four speeds, which you can switch between using the plus and minus button. At low speeds, the Laser Pecker Air Purifier is pretty quiet, at around 62 decibels, about normal conversation level. Level 2 jumps to 70 decibels, about the same as office noise. Level 3 increases to 74 decibels, or about traffic volume. And finally, level 4 is at 77 decibels, about the same as a household vacuum. None of the levels are uncomfortably loud, but I would prefer level 1 or 2 if I was running this all day. Using an anemometer, we can measure wind speeds of the four levels. Level 1 is 2.3 meters per second, or 13 CFM. Level 2 is 3.3 meters per second, or 18.7 CFM. Level 3 is 4.0 meters per second, or 22.7 CFM. And finally, level 4 is 4.7 meters per second, or 26.7 CFM. That is a pretty solid range, and I like how level 4 is twice the airflow of level 1. To test how effective the Laser Pecker air purifier is, I picked up this air quality monitor. This has a number of different sensors which can detect different sized particles in the air, as well as different harmful gases and VOCs. The air quality monitor can detect three different particle size ranges. PM10 counts the number of particles 10 microns or smaller. PM2.5 is 2.5 microns and smaller. And finally, PM1 is 1 micron and smaller. All particle sizes can be dangerous to your lungs, with smaller particles able to go deeper into your lungs. Particulates can cause irritation to your lungs, causing respiratory issues and worsening asthma. And the long-term exposure has been linked to premature death. Obviously, that's not good. So let's get this connected to the Laser Pecker LP4 Dual Laser Engraver. If you're curious about the LP4, which contains both a 10 watt blue dyed laser and a 2 watt infrared laser, you can check out my recent review of it here. The air purifier includes a small adapter that fits all of Laser Pecker's lasers. It simply locks into the hose and then clips onto the fan of the LP4's cover. Placing the monitor in front of the outlet of the air purifier, I turned the purifier speed to level 2 and started cutting wood. And immediately we notice almost no change in the number of detected particles. Engraving caused the counts to rise only 1 or 2 micrograms per cubic meter, and even while cutting, when most of the smoke and fumes are created, the numbers only barely rise. The meter is still showing green, indicating great air quality, and the PM2.5 is still below the EPA's recommended 9 micrograms per cubic meter for long-term exposure. I also noticed only the faintest smell of wood. It did a great job at controlling the odor. But before celebrating, I wanted to see if this air quality meter is actually working. So I removed the filter, but kept the rest of the setup the same, and started another test. 
The difference was night and day. Within 10 seconds, the meter was overloaded, PM counts soaring well past 1,000 micrograms per cubic meter, and the smell was back in full force. When it started cutting, it was even worse. Even after the cut finished, the counts were still in the hundreds, and it wasn't until I put the filters back in did the particle counts start to drop again. This shows that the laser picker filter was extremely effective in filtering out particles. So let's test it on a different laser and a different material. I'm finishing up a review of this GWIC G2 Pro 30 watt fiber laser. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the upcoming review. So let's connect it up to the laser pecker air purifier. The G2's cover is pretty similar with a fan on the back. The tube adapter doesn't fit, but I was able to hang it in place with a decent enough seal. You could 3D print your own adapter if needed. Hmm. Maybe a future project? Placing an anodized aluminum business card in the G2 Pro, I noticed that the higher speeds of the air purifier created enough suction to move the business card. So I kept it at level 2 and engraved my logo. The particle counts didn't change at all. In fact, it decreased, probably as it was clearing out the system from my earlier test without the filter. I couldn't detect the smell of aluminum at all. My final test was with this Creality Falcon 2 Pro 22 watt diode laser, which I'm also finishing up a review of. It's coming soon! Subscribe! The laser is fully enclosed, with an exhaust fan that pushes all of the exhaust out the vent hose. I didn't have an adapter, so I just shoved the input hose into the vent hose. I ran a living hinge test cut. This lasts about 10 minutes and produces a ton of smoke. You can see how well all of this smoke is pulled out by the exhaust fan. For comparison, this is what the vent hose looks like cutting the same design without the air purifier. And this is what it looks like with the air purifier. Looking at the air quality monitor, still well within the green. The PM counts are larger, in the low double digits, but it's still within the acceptable range for safe levels. And that's not surprising. This laser is cutting more material faster and producing much more smoke. Here we can see the other sensors. HCHO is formaldehyde, and TVOCs are total volatile organic compounds, which measure a number of harmful compounds in the air. Ideally, we want those numbers to be below 0.5 milligrams per cubic meter. And even with all of this smoke, the laser pecker air purifier is three orders of magnitude less than that. It's doing an incredible job with both particulate matter and volatile organic compounds. The smell of smoke is still detectable, but only slightly. Although I think that might also be partially due to me just inserting the tube into the other tube, it wasn't the best seal. So after testing the air purifier on and off over the next week, let's inspect the filter. The cotton pre-filter is obviously discolored. It takes the brunt of the tar, soot, and larger debris entering the air purifier. The first filter looks pretty clean underneath it though. Laser Pecker does include two replacement cotton pre-filters, so you'll want to replace those more frequently than the filter pack itself. One elephant in the room is, well, can you use this air purifier to run your laser in a room? Laser Pecker's marketing never says yes. All of the images that appear to be indoors have the outlet tube conveniently running out of frame. If you consult the instruction manual, it says to run the, quote, unconnected end of the outlet outdoors. So Laser Pecker still wants you to vent outside and I think that's a good idea. While the air purifier does dramatically reduce the odor produced by the machines, the smell is still detectable. If I was running this in an enclosed room of a house or apartment, I'd still want there to be some ventilation outside. In a partially outdoor environment, like a craft market or a large shop where there's some airflow, then the Laser Pecker air purifier would be all you need. In conclusion, the Laser Pecker air purifier does an excellent job at removing harmful particles and VOCs from the air. It has made me more aware of the air quality around my shop, and it's making me question how I was running my machines before without any air purification. Us as a community do an excellent job to make sure everyone is aware of eye safety, but we rarely talk about the harms of what we breathe in besides just saying vents outside. It was easy to connect the air purifier to a variety of benchtop laser engravers with hoods or enclosures, and you can always create an adapter to fit if needed. It would be less effective if your laser does not have an enclosure though, and you'd need to find a way to keep the inlet near the laser head. I like the look of the air purifier. It matches the rest of the laser pecker engravers, and it has an elegant appearance. It's also compact and portable. If you're looking for an air purifier to protect the lungs of you and everyone around you, then I would highly recommend the Laser Pecker Air Purifier. The Laser Pecker Air Purifier is on sale for $359 US dollars at the time of recording. This includes everything you saw in this review, including the single filter pack. Replacement filters can be purchased from Laser Pecker, coming in a 2-pack for $179 US dollars, or $90 per filter pack. I think this is good value for money when comparing other filtration systems available at the moment. So thank you all for watching my review of the Laser Pecker Air Purifier. What features do you like? What features do you think it's missing? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.